Hi, my name is Julia and I'm majoring in psychology at UCLA. For the past eight months, I have been a VSFS intern working for the Department of State in the Bureau of Diplomatic Security. My project focused primarily on better integrating the diplomatic security service with the Hometown Diplomats Program. The Hometown Diplomats Program is something the Department of State created in hopes of connecting the diplomats abroad to college students who might be interested in a career in the Department of State. So I reached out to special agents and asked if they were interested in speaking to their alma maters and then reached out to the alma mater to see if they would be willing to host. And at those events, I briefed the special agents on what to say, what information to share, and also attended those events to make sure that everything ran smoothly. I was also in charge of making sure that everyone had everything they needed, so whether that was an advertisement or a biography or a headshot. And really this was easy because all of these events were hosted over Zoom. So all I needed to do was send out a Zoom link. I definitely learned a lot throughout this internship. I think far more than any other internship experience I've had. I learned how to conduct myself professionally as I was the main spokesperson for this project. So when I went to a meeting, it wasn't as though I was shadowing someone else or just listening in on the meeting. I was the person that they were talking to and had to learn how to conduct myself accordingly. I also learned how to send professional emails, how to get rid of all of that fluff and get straight to the point. I also had to learn how to adapt to a remote workplace setting. So for me, that meant being extremely detail oriented and organized because I wanted to make sure that I had all of the questions and all of the comments set for my weekly meeting with my supervisor so that I didn't have to send her constant emails throughout the week. So this required a lot of pre-planning and was a completely different way of me working because I typically would have just walked over to my supervisor's desk and asked her the questions that I had. I think with everything being shifted to online because of COVID. So with schools and lectures and things being shifted to online, they weren't very receptive to these programs. And I was very close to giving up because out of all of my multiple emails, I hadn't heard back from any schools, but I learned how to adapt my email, adapt my approach to make, make it something that was more Zoom friendly. And in the second semester, I was very successful. So that kind of taught me to be not only flexible, but to be tenacious as well. If I could give advice to prospective e-interns, I would say keep in mind that this is your project, at least that's how it was in my experience. So I was able to have the flexibility to take my project and run with it to kind of build it from the ground up and work in any way that I wanted to and be able to share my ideas. So this is really your time to shine. Let these people see what you're able to do and don't be afraid to share your ideas. Also, don't be afraid to ask questions. This is definitely your time to learn. So I think if you're interested in the government, even if this has nothing to do with what your end goal might be, ask your supervisor, ask the people you're working with, is there anyone in that position who you might be able to talk to, network, do informational interviews, use this internship to help propel you into the federal government because your doors are open to be able to speak to so many different people through this internship that it really is a great opportunity. Would I recommend this internship? Yes, 100% absolutely. I was at first a little bit hesitant because I didn't think I would be able to get a lot done in 10 hours a week. And I thought maybe this isn't the most serious internship or I won't be actually doing that much, especially because it's the federal government. I expected to be doing a lot of tedious, busy work. This is not that kind of internship. This is not, oh, fetch me coffee. Oh, fill out the spreadsheet. I did not have that experience at all. I felt as though I was actually making a change and doing something that mattered. And I was able to learn so much far more than I had in any other internship. And it is different because it is remote. It is a completely different workplace setting. But if you can kind of overcome that hurdle and be comfortable with working remote, you will gain so much from this internship and learn far more than you ever thought you would. I think it is by far the best internship experience that I've ever had. I learned the most from any of my internships and would really recommend it because you have this introduction to the federal government with a low commitment. So it's 10 hours a week. You don't have to pick up and move to Washington, DC. You're able to connect with the federal government, see all of these different opportunities and pathways for careers that you might not have previously known about. And it might change your perspective and make you realize that you are really passionate about something you might not have been passionate about before. For example, for me, I chose this project because I was, had the opportunity to talk to diplomats. That was really the only reason. I had no idea really what public affairs was. I had zero clue that the diplomat security service even existed and now I'm actually going to be working full-time with them starting in July I'm so excited and um, I'm actually thinking about getting my master's in public affairs so it really helped me 
figure out where my passions lie and opened my eyes to a completely different career path and also told me all about these different positions within the federal government that I didn't even know existed before this internship. In short, apply, you will not regret it. You will learn far more than you thought you would. And even if it isn't a direction that you think you wanna go, something might surprise you and completely change your perspective as it did mine. So I encourage you all to pick a project and apply in July.